Hi, welcome to a video tutorial for SOLIDWORKS 2014. I will do the user wish 7, which I did before in NX9 and KTV5. So let's start with a sketch, maybe on that plane. And it should look like this. And I need a center line, so I will go for a center line right here. Okay. Now let's give it some dimensions. This one should be 100. This should be 50, this should be 65, that should be 50. See, this center line makes it easier to get all those dimensions. And now I need this one, it's 310. This one should be 20, this should be 70, this should be 50, and let's move this up a little bit, okay, and This should be, let me take a look, it's another 50, yes. It's fully defined, I can close this one and I want to have a revolved boss space. looks nice and okay let's take a look yeah so this will be my first body i will need another body which should be a simple cylinder i will sketch on that plane. I need a circle which got a dimension. This one is 140 in diameter. And I can close the sketch and make an extrude. And this one will be two hundred and ten. So make an extrude with this sketch. It's two one oh zero and I do not want to merge the results, so I got another body. See I got two solid bodies right now. That's okay. Then I need a tangent plane for my sketch and I, yeah. And so it works, I got a special feature to wrap and emboss or deboss curves on surfaces. So I could do it like I did it in NX and in KDV5, but I will show you the special command here, so it's a little bit easier to do. But anyway, I need a tangent plane, so I will insert another plane. And my first reference should be this one, and 
distance is 70 millimeters. Okay, and I want to have a sketch on that plane. So let's do a sketch on that plane. Yes. Okay. I need some circles. First one, second one, third one. Give them dimensions. This should be 460. That one, 380. Um, this one over here, 400. Okay, the distance and some lines. One line, maybe right here. Let's remove this one. And one right here here and another one or two seems my mouse is a little bit edgy and another one maybe here Distance right here should be 40. This should be 210. Distance here should be 20. And distance between that point and that point And the center point it's the center point, okay, should be pi multiplied by seventy divided by two. Now let's move these a little bit up and maybe these a little bit up as well, maybe like this. Okay, then I could trim at least some elements which I don't need anymore. Yes, I don't need that one. I don't need this. This should be deleted. This and this. This. Here, here, and here. And this as well. Okay. Then maybe I add some relations. This one and that one should be aligned vertical. Same goes for this one and that one. Yes. Seems I lost the time. No, I don't. And this should be pi multiplied with seventy. There should be a blend, a fillet with 20 here, 
here and here and another one with 60 on that one so okay and one with 60 here this line should be be 35, this one should be 35 as well, I'm still underdefined, let's take a look, what is missing, okay I lost this dimension from here to the point which is 210. Okay, this looks nice. So now I can use the wrap feature and I go to insert features where is it? Wrap. And I want not to emboss it and not to scribe, but I want to deboss it. And I want to deboss what? That's the source sketch, that's all right. And I want to deboss that body. And I make it 40, let's say 40 millimeters and hope it works. Yes, it did. So maybe I will hide the revolve. Okay. So I cannot mirror the wrap, so I will split or will cut this away and mirror the whole body. So therefore need a sketch on this plane. No, 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 sorry. I need a sketch on that plane. should be a rectangle, maybe something like that. Give it dimensions, doesn't really matter, make it 100. And this one, selected bodies and the selected bodies are the visible ones so that's the selected body and cut it and now I can mirror this one I want to mirror a body bodies to mirror and the mirror face the mirror face should be uh, this no take a look that plane and the body to mirror is this one okay now I got three bodies and I want to combine them all together let's show this one yes 
And now let's combine them. Go to insert features and there is a combine command right here. And I want to add them together and I want to add the revolve to the cut extrude and to the mirror and confirm it. Yes. And then I need just sort of hole. I could do it, for example, with a sketch right on that plane. Make a circle, give it a dimension. This should be, take a look. I think it was 17 diameter. Finish the sketch and make an extruded cut through all with the sketch. That's okay through all. And could not locate end of feature because I have to give it I'll make an extruded cut of the sketch, change the direction. Now it works and I'm done. So hope you enjoyed this video as well. See you next time. Bye bye.